Love this car so much, so thank you to my man. Hey, Battle Bays, welcome back to another video. It's me, Andrea, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a little six month car update and doing a little car tour, if y'all don't mind. Y'all know my husband bought me a car. And it's coming up on the six month anniversary of me buying my car. I bought my car on the 29th of January and it's about to be the 29th of June. So I decided to give y'all a little update on how I'm liking my car, if I'm still liking my car, things that I feel like I wish was improved on a car etc so let's go ahead and get into it i still can't believe the fact that i have this car on top of it being such an amazing car now is this my dream car of course it's not my dream car but is it a car that i absolutely adore i absolutely loved and i had my eyes on for quite some time before i got it yes yes it is and i'm so excited to have it it's funny because i had put on my 2024 goals list to upgrade my car now i had a lot of people asking me why i purchased a brand new car after i had just bought a brand new car because for those of you that don't know i had bought a new car back in 2022 i bought a nissan kicks i'm upgrading to a new car again like straight off the lot i think i had like what maybe 15 miles or something that was on this car when i got it but i got a new car because i kind of made a bad decision when i got the first new car now don't get me wrong I love my Nissan Kicks so much. When I had bought my first car, the Nissan Kicks, I didn't realize that there was more out there. I think I was in a position where I had finally gotten in a place in my life where I was able to buy a brand new car that I kind of just jumped on it, if that makes sense. Because I talked about it when I got that car that I went from buy here, pay here's, putting $2,000 down to get an 18% interest rate at these little buy here, pay here places because that's all I was able to get. That's all I was able to get approved for. My credit wasn't there. My income and stuff was just ugh, all over the place. So for the longest time, I wasn't able to get a new car. I was able to get what I could get. So when I was able to go on a lot and they told me that I can get a brand new car, I can choose what I wanted, y'all, I just jumped at the opportunity. I felt like I was at the dealership for too long. I saw the Nissan Kicks and I'm like, okay, this one, this cute, I like this. It was in my price range. It had, it was pretty loaded to be, you know, what it was. I got the higher end of the models and yeah, I went with it. I loved it and I still love it. But the more I drove the car and the more I experienced the car, I realized there was just things that I wish was in the car that was not in the car or things in the car that could have been drastically improved that I just needed an upgrade, okay? One being the engine, because y'all listen, this is when me and Trey was like really going back and forth to Houston and stuff like that. Obviously we were in San Antonio, we were going back and forth to Houston and my car when it comes to like accelerating was slow it was terribly slow again a perfect starter car but i feel like driving in that houston traffic if you know you know trying to merge in trying to get in where i fit in my car just accelerated way too slow to the point it's kind of dangerous it was kind of dangerous because it's like i see an opening and i'll try to go for it and it's taking about 15 seconds for my car to actually speed up to do what i needed it to do so i did not like that at all on top of the fact like if you try to put, put the pedal to the metal it start doing that little poof thing and to for it to be doing that and it was a brand new car i just didn't like it i didn't like that at all the seats they weren't power seats that wasn't a deal breaker but again for it to have been a new car i feel like they sh there should have been power seats the seats were also fabric I have children, the seats were fabric and I had spilt, even I was spilling things in the car. Like I had spilled an entire cup of, um, it was a Starbucks drink, I think it was a pink drink. It seeped completely through, so now I had to deal with that. And the car was really small. Obviously, at the time when I was in a mindset of thinking of getting a new car, me and Trey was talking about trying for another child and I'm like, okay let's go ahead and we we i should start looking at cars and i was going back and forth to the dealership and i was looking at this car and i was test driving it and i feel like i was driving those people crazy because i kept going just to test drive but i wasn't buying a car when i put it on my 2024 goals list i literally said if i wasn't able to upgrade my car it was perfectly fine because again i have a brand new car already so it's not like i was in dire need of a car my car was working perfectly fine i was taking good care of it I just needed something upgraded. <laughs> I have been driving my car, okay? I have been thoroughly enjoying my car. I love this car. 
I love this car so much to the point I have 10,828 miles on it so apparently that's a lot is, is that a lot is that a lot of miles to have within six months I don't feel like that's a lot so some people they were acting like when I'm gonna tell them how many miles I have on the car already they're like oh dang girl you've been all over the place I mean, yeah, I like road trips, I like driving, I be all over the place for the longest time. Me and Trey was separated, the kids are all over the place, so your girl was driving. My car is still doing absolutely amazing. I still love it. I feel like I've already said that way too many times. Um, but I had a lot of people worry with the light interior seats that I decided to go with because this was a must have item. Like my lights interior was a must-have item i was not driving off no lot with no car if i didn't have my light interior seats and so a lot of people are worried about that because they're like oh you have a very young child what are you going to do if you get marker and pen i haven't had any issues so far i haven't had any any issues with anything sticking or staining the seats i thought i had a situation i thought i had a situation but no i'm telling you mia even got some marker on the back seat and yeah it came right off now we just don't allow markers in the car anymore but yeah that's perfectly fine and the package that i purchased when it comes to any type of stains rips little tears a little scratches in my interior oh that's covered i just got to drive up to nissan and they're gonna they gonna get that right together so i didn't have to worry about that i haven't spilled anything in the front seats which i don't think i will because with the the um, the mats that the car came with my drinks and stuff sit on the floor perfectly fine but in the back seat though mia did have a little incident in the back seat where she spilled chocolate milk all over the back seat <laughs> i was a little worried because i'm like oh my god milk out of all things baby you want to spill milk you had orange juice you could have spilled the orange juice and so i'm thinking it's about to be in the seat i'm gonna have to really be scrubbing and no y'all the way the back seats are made this is a mom's car okay this is a mom's car because the way the seats are made the the the, the what is it like the recline or the part that you can that things can go through it's higher I'm gonna show y'all later but the thing is higher so the milk kind of just sat right there and I was able to clean everything up and it was perfectly fine no stains no nothing so yeah this is a mom's car and I keep finding more and more little things like that that I'm absolutely in love with so I do still wish I had the interior lighting there is a version a model of this car where you are able to add interior lighting this one didn't have that it does have the premium package okay so this is the sl model not the platinum model but this has the premium package in it so basically i got the platinum vehicle at the sl price if you know what i mean so i was okay with that so i did lose out on having the interior lighting if i would have built the car like i was originally thinking i wanted to do obviously would have been in there i'm still thinking though because apparently you can add interior lighting aftermarket or something like that i just want the nice ambience i just want to set the mood in my car okay but that wasn't a huge deal what is this hmm. that wasn't a huge deal breaker so i went ahead and went with it the only other thing was the passenger side window is an automatic so if i roll down both the windows and this is still like not a super big deal but if you roll down both the windows i can just like hit this window like okay like if i let this down right i can just put this all the way back and it's going to just roll up i don't have to hold it there but i have to do that over here so i wish both of the front windows were automatic but other than that i literally have no complaints about this car no complaint though no, i mean are those even really complaints like i love this car i love this car my kids love this car so thank you to my man <laughs> let's get into this tour Very nice. 
I don't feel like there's too much going on in my car, but it's enough. So we're going to go ahead and start over here with this dash display. So this is my dash display. In the premium package, the bigger screen came with the premium package. So I'm super excited about that because if you saw the downgraded version, like you see this little box around here, that's as big as the screen was on the lower models or the models without the premium package. So I'm excited about that. It just looks so much better. It just makes it look a little bit more luxurious, a little bit more grand. So I was excited about the bigger screen. Over here, let's go ahead and start with the steering wheel. So I have this leather steering wheel. And in the center, obviously, you have the um, Nissan emblem. On the bottom, you have the flat bottom, which I actually like. <laughs> I like that a lot. And over here, so you have the volume. Up, down, then you can uh, go back, you can skip a song. Um, this, These are just a toggle through the menu and stuff that's over here. But what is this actually? I don't know what that is. Oh, it says audio audio source and driver assist. I'm not sure. So it just pulls up some type of menu. So that's what this is for. And on this side, this is my drive assist. You have the phone where you can like dial or hang up. Um, this is the button where you kind of set how far of a distance you want between the car that's in front of you when you are in cruise control as well as um, speaking assist or whatever. Please say your select a command. Go back. Canceling voice recognition. Let's go ahead and move over to this side where obviously you have this huge display screen. And then you have the, um, this is like the daytime and nighttime. It lowers the brightness and you can increase the brightness of the, the screen. So when you're driving, you can put it on nights. In the daytime it automatically goes to day or you can just do it manually and adjust it obviously the music controls back forth um, it takes you this one takes you to audio so all of the connections and, and, and the, the, the things that you can do to connect to a car you hit menu it's taking you back to the main screen and then obviously my camera so I have this view have that view and then you have just the backup view and that sits and then this it just takes you back off of whatever um, screen you ended up hitting and over here you have the apple carplay obviously and one thing i really liked about this car that was again for some strange reason a non-negotiable was wireless CarPlay. So this car has wireless CarPlay. So obviously my phone is not connected or anything. I don't have to plug it in in order to have my Apple CarPlay come up. So I really like that. And here you have all the apps and I'm pretty sure there's a way to add more. Um, I just really haven't played with this. You would think that I was playing with this car like crazy, but I really haven't been playing with it like that. So yeah. Now down here, y'all. So this is the the vents, obviously. But then the seats are heated. So the front seat is heated. The passenger seat is heated. But the other thing that I really love is the steering wheel. Ah, it's heated. And I love it. I'm loving that, especially when it gets cold outside. Because for me, if you know me, you know I'm always cold. I'm always freezing. It's crazy that I even have this on 67 right now because I usually have it around 72. I've just been sitting in this car dying trying to record for y'all. But in the winter time, I hate touching my steering wheel, anything, because it just be way too freaking cold. So I'm so glad that I have not only heated seats, but heating steering wheel. I wish there was a cooling button. I'm pretty sure if I would have upgraded a little bit more, I would have been able to, but it's fine. It is what it is. These are the controls for the rear because in the back, they have their own separate little climate control back there, but I control it here. Um, turning the fans up and down, changing the setting on where it's blowing. And then, um, so you have a sync button here. So right now I'm on 70, 67, but I can adjust this one and let's put this one over here on 72. And then the rear can be a completely different. So let's put it back there on 77. So I'm sitting at 67, the rear is at 77 
passenger is at 72 and then you can just hit sync and then everything will be what I'm sitting at. So I like that a lot. It just makes sure everybody in the car is comfortable. You have the front vent, the back vent, and that is everything that is up here. Down here, there's not much, but you have the um, the trunk button. And then honestly, I think this is the auto hold. Is this what that is? Auto stop, what is that? I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I'll find out. And then you just have the different brightnesses over here that you can use. And then the steering assist is right here. So there's not much over there. Let's go ahead and jump back down here. So you have the USB-C and then a regular USB. You have the little, what is that? The, the, the cigarette lighter plug, whatever, right here. This is my start stop button over here. And right here, so in this car, another thing that I really wanted in the car before I experienced it was a charging station. And this is where the charging station would have been. But Trey has a charging station in his truck. And yeah, we don't use it a lot at all because one, it's just not very practical. I would prefer this area as storage space on top of the fact that it just was charging. Even the one in his truck, it charges our phones so so freaking slow so it just wasn't even practical it's not something that i would have been using so i didn't really need it at the end i wasn't even upset that i didn't have it so you have that space there obviously the cup holders kind of wish they were adjustable a little bit more but that's perfectly fine then over here the shift um i have this cute little scrunchie around it then you have park drive reverse and y'all neutral if you have this car and you're having trouble with putting it in neutral you just have to hold down a brake and hold it up and it'll go into neutral i was having trouble with that every time i went through the freaking drive um the drive through little car wash because i couldn't figure out how to put it in neutral in time so my car well, i don't know it was just weird but yes that's how you do that you have to hold it then this is your parking brake then the auto hold is like when you pull up to the stoplight and you take your foot off of the brake and the car starts rolling. Um, if you have this on and you take your foot off the brake, the car isn't going to stop, um, stop rolling. Oh, I just figured out what this is. So when you push your foot down on the brake when you're at a stop light, the car, the engine goes idle or whatever the case may be, I guess it's saving energy or something i'm not sure exactly what that means but that's what that for i remember now and then you have the different modes so for my drive modes i have so i have the eco standard in sports mode and y'all when i say that sports mode is actually pretty nice on here i I'm, I'm liking the sports mode a lot up here we got a few more buttons to go this is to turn on my light this light turn that on like the light will come on when the doors are open and then you have my son like okay first of all y'all look i have a moon roof in this car you hit it once and it opens just half the way and then you hit it again and then it opens up all the way to the back it's so cute that's what that button is and then this button it just opens the i guess the actual roof and that is so bright go ahead and close that back i had a freaking um dragonfly come in here yesterday up here you also have a little space for some shades and i got my gucci shades in here and i'm gonna be honest i want some new shades i haven't i don't i no longer like the color i see through those shades so i want some pol polarized shades and then up here i have my little cards holder and keep some shades here as well but i just like to keep my card there and the thing is just so cute i got it off etsy and then in here obviously you have the sun visor but the mirror hey guys what's up but look at i put you are beautiful on my side and on the passenger side because i've been needing my words of affirmation every day so i think that's super cute it's on my rearview mirror i don't know if you can see that but oh yes you can it says you are enough a little heart and i thought that was super cute as well and then you have over here obviously the same thing you are beautiful and i just i just love that so much now right underneath this area you have um a little 
a little storage space i like to throw my wallet and my keys in here um, maybe even like my camera sometimes my purse if it's small enough i'll just go ahead and throw that under there if trey has his gun he'll throw that right under there so this is just the perfect little storage area it does have a little light that kind of shines down here that you, you can kind of see it in the nighttime but yeah you got a nice little amount of storage right there in the area so i like that speaking of storage over here my glove compartments i just have an umbrella in here I have um, my handicaps, well, Trey's handicaps sticker for now. But then I keep all of my registrations and my cars, licenses and stuff in this little thing here. And then like some hand sanitizer. I usually have pain meds in there, so I gotta restock on those because y'all know I get migraines way too frequently. Um, some hand lotion, I got some wipes, I have some mask in there. And then some pepper spray, some Tums, you know my stomach all messed up and then like a little glass cleaner that is actually not very practical i just leave it in there over here i have that little gummy duster thing which is actually it's pretty nice it's pretty decent i like it as well as some hand lotion here in this middle console you open it by hitting this button here and this is all the stuff that i have in here I got my charger, which I actually should have my phone on a charger right now. But I have my charger. Concealer gloss. There's some migraine meds. Um, my phone clip that I need to find that little piece that hold the phone for. I have some aqua for. Because my lips stay dry. Um, I got some perfume. We have quite a bit of perfume. So I have this one. I have this Michael Kors. I have that Burberry. And then I have this little roll-on Seven Virtues, the Vanilla Woods, because this is my absolute favorite scent in a whole wide world. I have my eye drops because as y'all know, I had LASIK a few years back. And ever since then, my eyes have been extremely dry, but still no regrets because I'd rather be able to see with my eyes. I would do it again if I need to. And I have more hand sanitizer, more hand lotion, cute little picture of me and Trey. And what is this? Oh. The current car, well, room spray. My current car spray I'm using is this White Barn Paradise Cove, and it smells way too good. Like, goodness, that smells so good. Then a lip gloss, coconut craze, and then some breath smell good. <laughs> it's more than enough storage if I wanted to put even more stuff in there, but as of right now, it's just not necessary. So, yeah. And then I like the fact that, like, okay, so if I'm holding this side down, and my passenger needs to get in they can just hit it in that side open vice versa if my passenger is leaning on it and i need to get in i can just hit that and my side open so i really do i like that as well let's get into the color of my seats these are light gray a lot of people are thinking they were white they're just light gray seats and i prefer that than white and then this is like a i don't know like a brown like a brown grayish color but it goes so nicely with the lighter gray so I like that and I have that all here up there so I think that just looks so nice it elevates the car it came with these weatherized um mats which I absolutely love and it also came with a addition it, it came with another like carpeted mat that I don't use it's in the house somewhere but I like these a lot they're easy to clean they go up so far where like the carpet underneath isn't getting messed up with anything so I just prefer these and I just think they look a little bit neater a little bit nicer uh, so we are now in the back seat of the car and obviously I have more than enough space okay like I and I'm not that tall I'm not the tallest thing in the world but even when Trey sits back here he has more than enough um leg space to be able to sit comfortably even when the seat is bought back quite a ways i'm not saying i'm the tallest thing i'm not the tallest thing i am five foot one and a half don't forget the half but this is me just sitting chilling in the car let me show y'all what i meant by those seats when i was um talking about the little chocolate milk incident that we have i like my pillows i got these from etsy as well but her car seat sits here and so when she spilled the milk it went all over here right so there is literally no like gap between this so there wasn't a way for the milk to sink to sink down in there um there's no gap like it's kind of like a stop here like it kind of 
it kind of goes up here but the milk didn't even get over here it was like in in here and there's no no way to get in there like it's it's stitched right and so when i was panicking i was thinking that this is where the opening is but no it's lifted and it's up here so the milk didn't even get a chance and i was just so excited about that so yes i said mom's car for sure so i was super excited about that and i just keep our seat right there keep a little pillow right there these pillows be coming in so handy when it's like road trip time because they're like the perfect neck pillow and then i keep this one up here then we have those up here because i just love the way they look but then we have more cup holders here which is perfect I usually just keep that up as far as what I have back here I have my vacuum cleaner because this is a absolute must like I said I take care of this car pretty well and then I keep some deodorant back here apparently Mia says she's keeping stuff back here too because we have a toy from McDonald's I keep some leather wipes in here which is time to re-up on these and I have a, a tripod a handheld in here and some extra well this is the cord for my vacuum cleaner i have this little hook up here to hang my purse and stuff off of as well as one on this side if anything else needs to be hanging so one of the nice touches that i like in here is the sunshades so you have this sunshade here you just bring it up you have these hooks you make sure each side is up on the hook and then you have a nice little sunshade for the kids and so when i know for a fact like we're about to be in a grocery store or something like that for a while and i'm running errands with them i'll have them pull the shades that way when i do start the car when i am inside of the store when it's almost time to go everything is really really cooling down because on my phone i have the nissan app and i'm able to I'm able to lock my car, unlock, start the engine, turn on the lights, honk the horn, and then it shows me all of these other things that my car do. It shows me all of those different things. So that is very handy. I have the kick lift gate. So let's go ahead and get that open. And then you have the trunk. And it's so much space in here. Like there's way, there's, so, I can put a few bodies back here. I try to keep a snack in a car. I also try to keep bottles of water in a car, but obviously all of that is deplenished. I have to get more stuff when we go grocery shopping. So yeah, I try my hardest though. I try to keep everything in here stocked as much as possible. I have some jumper cables in here. This is where I keep like my extra air fresheners and stuff like that. Over here, I have a first aid kit as well as my CPR mask equipped in here with some Narcan, some band-aids, some shears and other things that I may encounter. I did have a bigger like aid bag than this at one point, but yeah, it, girl, I might get another one though. I might have to get another one. I'd be running into too many situations where I feel that I'm not prepared and I could have done more. So that's the reason why I at least want this in the car. I have all of my room sprays over here so this is my fall christmas area this is my spring summer fall area over here and i already have one over in the main part of the car but yeah that's what i keep there and that is my trunk space so that's all i have for this video i love you guys so much i do not have any buyer's remorse for this car i didn't then and i still don't now i absolutely love this car and i'm pretty sure i'm going to continue to love this car i keep finding um little things that i absolutely love about this car go ahead and put down in the comments what you like most about this car or if you're in the process of buying a car or you just bought a car let me know the things that you absolutely love about that car or what car you plan on purchasing if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button we are on a road to 10k subscribers by the end of the year and with your help i think i can make that happen so go ahead hit subscribe button and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one let me go ahead and get out this car because i'm getting hot and i'm hungry i'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye